Welcome to the PSD Manager presentation. I will show you how to produce a PSD file from your scene. And first we add the PSD Manager render effect. PSD Manager is a render effect because this allows us to output PSD files in addition to your main render output format. So you are not forced to use PSD files as your only file format. Uh, we choose a file name. In this case, uh, we automatically pick up the file name of your main render output, but you can also choose any other by picking the files button. You can decide between an 8 bit, 16 bit, and the brand new 32 bit high dynamic range PSD format. Uh, if you wish, set the number of DPIs, uh, which is just for convenience, and then choose how you want to output your rendered image. Maybe as layer with a mask, uh, with transparency, or you can also output your alpha channel as a PSD channel. Now just let's just render. Uh, first the scene renders and then you have seen quickly the PSD image effect writes out the PSD file. I will now just right click on this files button is because this opens my image in Photoshop and now uh, let's add something more exciting to our, our PSD file uh, we have different output modules in PSD Manager one is for render elements one for 3D, 3D as max scene layers objects and materials can be written to the file gbuffer channels and cameras and point helper objects for use in After Effects. Uh, what you will use most of the time is probably the objects and materials output uh, because it produces very nice anti-aliased selections for objects and materials uh, which you will all need all the time to adjust your rendered images in Photoshop. So, uh, the easiest way is to just pick some objects from the scene, let's say a teapot and the big blue box. And render. Paste image of writes a PSD file. And we will update this in Photoshop. And you see we now have here now a new layer group, uh, which contains two new layers. So you know, might now wonder why those are black. Uh, these are basically used as selections, so we don't need the color. Uh, you pick your selection, you just uh, hold down the control key, click your layer, and then can work on your image. And make any changes you might want. So, if you pre prefer to work with uh, layers that have the color of the, your objects, you can use the layers render cutout mode. And now the layers will appear in a way that you might expect them to be. So you can now put them on top of your render and then maybe paint directly on those. So if you need a selection for multiple objects, uh, let's say all the small boxes in this scene, uh, we can assign an object ID and uh, this way create a kind of group. And all we have to do is now is enter the assigned object ID number 5 here into this edit box and if we now render, maybe this time as a channel then our selection for our small boxes will appear here as a channel. So 
So another common use is that you want uh, to produce a selection for a specific material. Uh, for this you need to assign a material effects ID uh, which is done in the material editor. You just pick uh, any number from the list for your material and then again enter this here in the material effects ID edit box and you can now render this out. If you only have a very few uh, selections you can also turn off the layer groups if you don't need them. Uh, this is all your choice. Uh, a similar workflow exists for the new scene layers output which can output any 3ds max layer into a layer or as a channel into your PSD file and for example this scene we have we have layers in the layer manager for uh, all teapots and a layer for all boxes uh, there's also a layer for all the lights uh, but since we don't need this in the PSD file, we can turn it off. And then just render. Open it in Photoshop. And here we are. Here are our scene layers. <coughs> 